What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this cold and rainy, at least here in California, evening. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday evening, December 22nd, 2021, about 6.16 p.m. California time. And uh, we got the latest earthquake, a 4.8 over here in this area of the world. Haven't seen too much earthquake activity over here around Morocco recently, but uh, that's kind of where this earthquake just kicked up. Let's go ahead and check out some activity around the rest of the globe here, including a 6.0 earthquake that struck off the coast of uh, Mexico, the Jalisco area. You can see that uh, well, about, uh, looks like maybe about 100 miles or so off the coast down here around the uh, this little fracture zone. I can't remember what it's called. Riviera Fracture Zone, that's right. Little transform right lateral fault system. Kind of right at the edge of it haven't seen a whole lot of movement out here but we have seen some activity ramping up here including uh, a more recent 4.4 down here along the middle america trench 35 kilometers <clears throat> um just about an hour or so after that 6.0 so continued further activity along the north american plate and that uh, tells us tells the story up here as well in northern california where we got a 3.1 at almost 30 kilometers into the uh, subduction zone here of the Cascadia. 29.6 kilometers for this 3.1 just coming in a short time ago. Over the last 24 hours, only about eight earthquakes according to the USGS, but I know there's a lot more than the eight being reported because I've seen them come in uh, to the live seismographs, but we'll go with that. We'll go with what they state. Uh, this is about the uh, biggest one so far today, uh, according to these folks. We did have one a little bit further out into the uh, Gorda Plate area, 2.9. So activity in this region still kind of heightened as well, folks. Uh, so watching the entire West Coast, looking at the uh, Intermountain West region as well, we're seeing that uh, little half circle feature once again across the mountain ranges, uh, right up against the, uh, kind of up around the Rocky Mountains in the north, stretching down to the southwest, uh, away from the Rocky Mountains, down through Utah. Um, the further south you go, uh, so some activity, no doubt, kicking up here in the uh, western part of the country. Looks like uh, some activity around the Ridgecrest area and the Coso Volcanic Field up here as well, getting in on uh, quite a bit of action over the last 24 hours. Seen about 14 earthquakes, uh, all pretty much microquakes, but still uh, movement nonetheless here, uh, just short of the uh, volcanic, the Coso Volcanic Range here. But looking at satellite imagery, we already checked this out. There's um, historical volcanic activity in that region. The fracture zone here of the uh, Ridgecrest earthquakes a couple years ago still shows some aftershock sequences and uh, things along the eastern Sierra Nevada all pretty quiet though up north around the uh, Long Valley Supervolcano and the Antelope Valley area. Uh, there is a line of movement kind of stretching up here kind of spotty if you will outside of Redding down to about north of Lake Tahoe some microquakes kicking up nothing significant and up here around the uh, Pyramid Lake in Nevada, north of Reno. Some microquakes up there as well. Looks like things kind of just uh, ramping up a little bit inland. There's the activity around the Utah region. Watching some swarming activity kick up north of Cedar City. And also a little activity around the Cedar area here up against the mountain ranges. Watching this region here for, uh, for a few weeks now of some activity. Still got this cold, folks. I'm trying to get through it, so hopefully I'll be able to at least get through the update video. There's that 6.0. Uh, we already chatted about that. Uh, activity still kind of ramping up here deep into the Middle America Trench. Over here around the Puerto Rico Trench, things kind of backing off a little bit compared to earlier. And last night, we've seen a, a little line of activity ramping up here. Today, though, uh, just some movement around Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic area. One around St. John's down here at 3.9 uh, at uh, 58 kilometers. South America, though, is kind of a hot topic. Uh, down here, you can see a, a trail of earthquakes around the Peru Chile Trench here. Some of this movement pretty deep as well into the subduction zone down here around the Chile area. You can see a couple of these earthquakes ranging around the 227 kilometer depth. Pretty deep movement there. Uh, up here in the uh, Hawaii, I was going to say Hawaii, Alaska. Oh, things appear to, at least right now, appear to be backing off far as moderate quake activity goes. 
following that 5.9 around the uh, Cook Inlet area. Just a couple sporadic uh, small microquakes within the region and some up here to the north as well. Other than that, uh, things kind of tapering off a little bit, at least in this portion of the Pacific Plate. The Big Island, southeast flank, still seeing some activity. Uh, that's about the only activity we're seeing is within that region of Hawaii, uh, Kilauea, and other areas not showing any volcano or any uh, earthquake activity on the USGS map. A uh, little earthquake off the Japan Trench, uh, 50 kilometers deep here for a 4.4, well north of Tokyo. And once again, into that Japan Trench area, <clears throat> and uh, some further activity as we work our way towards the East China Sea with a deep 4.8 uh, earthquake there and also a 4.3 around the China area and just south of the Philippines a little bit of movement as well looks like they had a 5.0 in the Indonesia region a whole lot of twos in these dates here you see that uh, what else here Papua New Guinea Solomon Sea north of there got a few earthquakes kicking up Looks like a 5.4, the largest one in that sequence of earthquakes. Also down around the uh, Vanuatu area. 111.7 for that 4.7 4 earthquake there. Some deeper earthquake movement in that region. Also around the Tonga area. Somewhat of a deep earthquake for this area as well. 4.5. Of course, this region here very uh, known for some deep, deep movement. Let's take a look at this earthquake over here around the Morocco area. Of course, you got the uh, Canary Islands and the uh, volcano stuff there with the uh, um, over there in that region. Sorry, I'm my my man. I think I need to take another some Nyquil and clear up my head a little bit. It's just I think it's a head cold. I don't know. It's affecting my throat, my nose, uh, and and uh, overall it seems like my whole body is kind of taking a hit from this. So 4.8 earthquake here, in Morocco, 10 kilometer depth around this plate boundary looking at historical activity i know there's definitely been a lot of earthquakes within this region specifically around this bend and you can see it here uh, clearly on this map not a whole lot of larger earthquake most of this is definitely shallow uh, looks like maybe uh looks like they may have had uh at least within this region here a six magnitude or so a couple of a couple of them in that region of uh, of the area that's about it there for uh, earthquake activity of course nothing showing up in this region from the USGS we'll go ahead and check out the uh, EMSC model see if there's any uh, further earthquake activity around the uh, Canary Islands I don't really see anything showing up over here. That's kind of surprising too here on this map. Uh, maybe a little bit. Canary Islands 2.7, 2.5, but nothing like we've seen a week, couple weeks ago, with the uh, volcanic activity around around that region there. These guys showing the uh, 4.8, 30 kilometer depth that these guys are stating. Uh, what else we got here? A little bit of movement up around the Iceland area as well. That occurring earlier, way earlier. About 10 kilometers or so for the depth. I was going to check out volcanic activity around here. Uh, it is kind of off the coast there. Pretty uh, populated region, it looks like, in that area. <clears throat> Man, I'm hoping I can get through this. It is just a gnarly cold. I don't get sick too often, but uh, the kids were sick here the past couple weeks, and it's hard to it's hard to avoid, uh, you know, viruses and whatnot when uh, there's kids running around. <laughs> but it's all good. I'll load up on some vitamin C and. Uh, Maybe have some chicken noodle soup or something for dinner. Uh, what do we got? 5.1 South Sandwich Islands earlier today. 
So uh, overall, folks, still kind of watching the West Coast here. I'm still leaving the earthquake watch up here for uh, the entire West Coast region. There's still just uh, too much activity kind of ramping up here in the deep area of the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll check out the trimmer activity tonight uh, along the uh, southern end of the Cascadia. Things kind of dwindling down. Only about 11 epicenters of trimmer at the very end of the uh, Cascadia. But uh, I still think as long as we're uh, seeing a little bit of trimmer here, we can accept we can uh, expect further uh, surface quaking, but also further strain here along the southern end of the uh, Cascadia. 3.1, 30 kilometers. Just, but we've seen a, a whole deep, a whole a whole lot of deep earthquake activity here, folks, uh, within this region for sure. All right, guys. Uh, let's see what else we got. As far as space weather, things kind of toning down. We'll go ahead and check out Yellowstone while we're at it. Not a whole lot of movement here on this uh, seismograph. Uh, I've seen some activity around the Maple Creek area, but uh, overall, uh, things pretty mellow. A little odd. Not not too much in the way of earthquake activity at all in the Yellowstone region. And the solar weather here on the sun still looks pretty uh, elevated. They have upgraded the X flare in actually all these categories. Uh, C flare was sitting at about 85 to 90 percent. It is now at 95 percent. Uh, M flare sits at 25 percent, and they raise the X flare from five up to 10 percent chance uh, with these sunspots that are kind of facing Earth and growing rapidly. There's a number of them. Look, look at all that activity there on the sun. There's a uh, there's a whole bunch. There's some some big ones, but the dynamics of them are starting to. Uh, uh, some of them are coming together when it comes to the polarities, but they're kind of iffy uh, when it comes to producing a significant flare. But I see that, uh, of course, they did elevate the uh, the threat. Looks like on the 24th, their potential G1 class storm kicking up. This was all green last night. Kind of shows you the. Uh, well, how quick things can change, right, with the uh, solar weather. Looking at this update, uh, solar activity continued at moderate levels during the last 24 hours with another isolated M flare observed. That's going to be, uh, it looks like an M flare right there. Uh, this region, along with, uh, choo -choo -choo -choo, posed another threat for an isolated M class event. There are currently at least nine numbered active regions across the visible disk, a sharp increase as compared to just two weeks ago when the disk was spotless. Yeah, it looks pretty impressive, at least on the map or on the uh, satellite or on the image, I should say. Uh, and that's probably going to get uh, elevated and amplified as we head towards solar maximum. That is for sure. These are the last three M flares over the last 48, 48 hours. But as always, there's that potential uh, for an X flare to pop out and, uh, you know, kind of spark things up a little bit here. We will keep a close eye on it. Coronal holes look pretty uh, mellow up to the north and the south right now. Just a whole bunch of sunspots kicking up as the sun roars back to life. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone has a good night. Uh, as I said, we got more rain coming in. Watch the west coast pretty closely, folks. With all that deeper movement and uh, still a little bit of continued trimmer. Uh, just this area right here is uh, kind of prime for some further activity in the larger scale department. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe, everyone. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe while you're here. Still uh, kind of getting a whole bunch of new subscribers to the channel. So I do want to welcome everyone on here. And I appreciate everyone um, for joining in and uh, subscribe to the channel for those that haven't please do and uh, we will chat at you guys another time peace out everyone